Welcome to the Maternity Mentor. Today we will be talking about blood transfusions and how they can save your life. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Samantha. I've been a registered nurse since 2009, working in mother-baby postpartum, NICU, antepartum, and labor and delivery. I'm also an IBCLC, I'm maternal newborn nursing certified, and I have received training in perinatal mood and anxiety disorders, as well as perinatal bereavement. Bleeding is a normal part of any delivery, but sometimes the bleeding is more than expected. When this happens, your healthcare provider may prescribe a blood transfusion to help you recover. Let's explore what a blood transfusion is and what to expect when receiving one. Blood is the most important substance in your body. Your blood transports all the oxygen and nutrients your body needs to survive. It also carries all the waste products and delivers them to the right areas of your body for removal. Every organ you have requires blood to function. Each part of your blood serves a very important role. Red blood cells contain hemoglobin, which transports the oxygen in your body. Platelets help your body to stop bleeding from cuts, and plasma carries your defense factors against illness and infection. Having a blood transfusion means you're receiving blood or blood products from another person, also called a donor. This usually happens in the hospital setting through an IV in your arm. Blood transfusions are life-saving. Usually they are ordered by your doctor to help treat severe blood loss. The donor blood replaces the blood you lost during your vaginal or cesarean delivery. Blood transfusions can also be used to treat anemia not caused by blood loss, but this does not occur as often. Anemia is a condition caused by decreased hemoglobin. Anemia causes your heart to pump more blood due to its lack of oxygen. Over time, this can lead to cardiac complications, including heart failure. Signs of anemia include headache, fatigue or feeling tired, feeling out of breath, fainting, dizziness, and your heart beating faster. When anemia is severe, you will feel very ill or you may even have chest pain. One of the causes of anemia is excessive blood loss. Before we continue, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can get our latest content to have a happy and healthy family. Now let's talk about the reasons why you might need a blood transfusion. There are two scenarios in which you may receive a blood transfusion, non-emergency and emergency situations. Non-emergency situations include anemia not being related to blood loss but being treated before birth to prevent it from getting worse heavy bleeding during birth that stopped but lab work reveals you became anemic as a result, and thalassemia or sickle cell diseases that both affect the body's ability to make healthy hemoglobin. Emergency situations where a blood transfusion may be needed include to treat a miscarriage or ectopic pregnancy, to treat an antepartum hemorrhage which is bleeding that happens during pregnancy after your 24th week, and to treat a postpartum hemorrhage. Blood transfusions in emergency situations are usually given to save your life after it was determined that without a blood transfusion, the risk of organ failure or death was great. It is hard to know who may or may not need a blood transfusion. Most delivery locations will talk to you before birth about your feelings regarding having a blood transfusion, and they'll have you sign a consent ahead of time so your wishes are known. If you consent or decline, please know you can always change your mind. For more information on the risk factors of having a postpartum hemorrhage, please see our video on this. We will link that in the description below. Is it safe to get a blood transfusion? The answer is yes. Blood donors go through an extensive screening process prior to being able to donate blood, including intake forms and an interview. After the blood bank receives the blood, it is tested for a variety of diseases to ensure it is safe. Additionally, 
Your blood will be taken, usually when you arrive at the delivery location, and it will be matched to the donor blood you receive to ensure compatibility. Blood given in the hospital is usually administered by a nurse who checks the blood with another nurse before hanging it. Once the blood is hung, your nurse will stay with you for 15 minutes after the blood enters your body to ensure you remain stable. Your vital signs, including temperature, blood pressure, oxygen level, and heart rate will be monitored throughout the blood transfusion. Some mild symptoms, including a low fever or itchiness, are normal. If you have a more serious reaction, the blood will be stopped immediately. A couple hours after your blood transfusion is complete, your blood will be drawn again to check that your levels are higher and the transfusion was successful. Sometimes you will need more than one bag of blood to correct the issue. You may not be able to prevent a hemorrhage or sickle cell disease, but you can prevent anemia. Make sure to have your healthcare provider check your levels regularly to determine if anemia is setting in. Take your prenatal vitamin every day as directed by your healthcare provider. If anemia is becoming an issue, be sure to also take your iron supplements if prescribed by your healthcare provider. Eat a healthy diet including iron-rich foods like lentils, lean red meat, tofu, green leafy vegetables, beans, and iron-fortified cereals and breads. Take your vitamins and iron with vitamin C, which increases the absorption. Avoid drinking coffee and teas during meals because it can decrease iron absorption. Finally, stop smoking because it has been linked to anemia. It can be very stressful to hear you need a blood transfusion. I hope this has explained what a blood transfusion is and how safe it can be so you can make an informed decision about receiving one. Please share your comments and let us know what topics you would like to hear more about. If you like this content, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can be the first to receive this information. Remember to share this channel with your friends and family and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for additional content. We will link those in the description below. Thank you so much for joining us at The Maternity Mentor.